The man U.S. prosecutors say is a former Rhode Islander who faked his death to avoid a rape charge appeared in a Scottish courtroom this week. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kalunian. We've been tracking this bizarre case of Nicholas Aliverdian now for months. Investigators say they tracked him to Scotland where he has started a new life under a new identity. But that man says they have the wrong guy. New tonight, we're hearing from his new defense attorney. I really take uh, a lot of delight and um, joy in helping out clients who are in tough spots. Craig Johnson is in Scotland now, but he's a Utah-based defense attorney. Now he's representing Arthur Knight. The man authorities say is actually Nicholas Aliverdian, also known as Nicholas Rossi, who faces extradition to the states on a 2008 rape charge out of Utah. You know, dealing with the extradition stuff on one hand in Scotland, you know, stuff in Rhode Island possibly, Ohio possibly, and then trying to navigate the uncertainty of, hey, am I going to end up in in uh, Utah at the Spanish Fork jail in a week or a month or in a year, what's that look like? And so when he reached out to me uh, and I looked at his case, I wanted to be able to give him the best advice possible. In a Zoom interview with our Tim White on Friday, Johnson says he believes his client's story for a couple of reasons. He says Knight has none of the tattoos that Aliverdian was seen with in these photos from 2010, and he doesn't believe Utah County Attorney David Levitt's claim that Knight's DNA matches Aliverdian's. If he's lying to the, the press, um, that will eventually uh, get revealed, right? Correct, and we're counting on that. Johnson previously worked for Levitt. A Salt Lake Tribune article from March of 2020 says Johnson and two other prosecutors resigned from the office amid an investigation into whether they received inappropriate gifts from a defense attorney. At the time, Johnson said the purchases did not influence the way he prosecuted cases. Johnson is not representing Knight in the Scottish proceedings, but is instead helping him prepare should he end up stateside. My client is innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And the fact that we're still banding this about, was it really him or not, shows that there's reasonable doubt in my mind. And that's why he needs someone to advocate for him, and that's why I'm here. Knight is due back in court in two weeks. He has another extradition hearing set for early May.